Hey guys, I want to talk about a uh, different virus for a change today. So obviously we've been incredibly focused on the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Um, but I had a thought a couple of days ago, which was in the midst of all this, there are probably some really nefarious actors out there that are figuring out ways to exploit everybody's fear. And so, of course, I'm talking about the different types of viruses that, you know, will infect your computer and basically the whole, you know, scene around scams. So I reached out to a friend of mine, Luca Taylor, um, at a company called Redacted. And um, Luca and his team are probably the most incredible um, IT security people I've ever met. Um, they've been instrumental in, in, you know, sort of protecting us. Um, and so I reached out to Luke and I said, hey, you know, I have to believe at this point in time, there were folks out there that are, you know, leveraging the fear um, that is understandably prevalent and sort of trying to figure out ways to scam people. Um, can you let me know what the most common scams are and what we can do to protect ourselves? So Luca sent me an awesome memo, which I just want to kind of go through some of the summary points here. OK, so these are scams that are now showing up at a, um, a higher uh, severity or a, a higher frequency. Um, and so hopefully, you know, forward this along. I want to make sure that nobody is going to get ripped off by, you know, wankers that are taking advantage of this. So um, ob the obvious one is there's these promises of remedies or cures for COVID-19 and free at-home kits, total scam. Um, messages from the CDC, WHO, or random medical experts offering medical advice. Um, one trick is look at how the email is sent, um, because if even though it says WHO, if you actually look at the email address, it usually looks nothing like that. Uh, corporate emails regarding new telework policies. So be careful if you work at a big enough company, people can still hack in, send you emails that look like they're coming from your server that say, hey, click here, and this will allow you to do this sort of remote work. And of course, the second you do, they're in your system. Um, the expediting of checks or loans from the stimulus package, those eligible for stimulus um, will e either receive the direct deposit or a check in the mail. So you do not need to be, you know, looking out for some scam that's coming to try to expedite that for you. Um, stimulus, rechecks, uh, stimulus checks um, in exchange for 2020 census questionnaire, that's a scam, avoid it. Unsolicited online payments of fines for violating shelter-in-place orders. Again, seems believable, total scam. Local law, local law enforcement will clearly inform you of penalties and how to pay any if they are assessed. Um, and then COVID-19 maps for a fee. That's another uh, super scam that's going on right now. Um, so long and short of it is we're going to put this memo up, which has a little bit more detail and a whole bunch of other information on it. We're going to put it up on our site. We have a COVID-19 uh, page that's now dedicated to where we aggregate all of our information. And that includes everything from every video that I put up on the topic to the memos we've been sending out. Uh, to obviously the podcasts that are all COVID uh, pertinent. And then finally, uh, we've actually started to aggregate organizations that people can donate to because a, lot, a number of our patients have come in and said, hey, Peter, I want to, you know, stroke a check, but uh, you know, I don't know where to write it. And so our team has done some due diligence on those organizations to at least try to figure out where the best ROI is going to be. So we'll put this document there as well. Uh, but, you know, please share this because Man, this thing is bad enough as it is, but the thought of people getting ripped off um, is just its beyond infuriating to me. So uh, as we protect ourselves from one virus, let's do what we can to protect ourselves from another.